I don't see anything. Okay, I know this looks terrible, but it could have been a lot worse. Trust me, I have a natural talent for taking bad situations and making them worse. <coughs> Amen. Stop. And what did I tell you? You know, that was one of the best sermons I've heard in a long time. Where are we? Church. And what do you do in church? Listen to sermons? No. What do you do in church? Listen to sermons. Huh? Anthony, stop what you're doing. What am I doing? You know exactly what you're doing. No, I don't. <laughs> well, I know you weren't praying. This is the fourth sermon you've slept through. I was not sleeping. You were snoring. Many people don't run to God because they think there's no need to be sufficient in myself. I have nasal issues, and I don't enjoy discussing them with ladies, so. I think she bought that one. Anthony. Yeah, she definitely bought it. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. Okay, well, what was the sermon about? It was about Okay, focus, focus. Feeding little orphan African babies in, in third world countries and uh... It was about honesty. Hmm. Really? Anthony, you're on the verge of becoming a pathological liar. I'm not on the verge of becoming- Anthony? Just don't finish that sentence. Sorry. I'm just, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about how this is affecting your life and how it's affecting both our lives. Both? Well, we've been friends for a long time. Yep, 12 years, four months, six days. Listen, I, I just, I, I don't want to see you mess up your life, dude. Did you just call me dude? Yeah. Anthony? Anthony? Anthony! Yeah. Your phone! Whoa. What is it? A job interview. A job interview? What happened to the job you had over at McSell's? Um... Awesome for me. But I have a good feeling about this one. I gotta go. What? Wait! Anthony, wait! Just promise me that you'll tell the truth. Even if it's just for today. Come on, this is me we're talking about. I point exactly. Fine. I promise. Hi, Mr. Stevens. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm actually on my way now. I got caught up in some, some pretty heavy traffic. You would not believe some of the drivers. You know, hold on just one second. Hey, Grandpa, the gas pedal's on the right! 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be there as soon as possible. All right, all right. I'll see you soon, sir. Bye. Uh, that was the last lie. For forever. I swear. Okay, okay, let me start out by making this clear. I'm not a superhero. I never was. My name's Anthony Amvelli, and I'm not the most honest guy. I don't lie about every little thing, just what I feel's necessary to slip my way through life. It's worked till now without any big issues, but notice the key words in there. Till now. Although I may look like a fine, young, dedicated worker, it may surprise all of you that well, I'm not. I've had a lot of great jobs recently, I just haven't been able to keep one of them. You would think that being an incredibly gifted liar would have helped, but I guess people will only believe you for so long. You are such a loser. Your resume is garbage. Field refuse. <laughs> You're hired. Wait, what? You're hired. Everything looks great. <laughs> Honestly, we'd have hired a monkey if we thought they could read. <laughs> well, it's cheaper to hire you. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, sort of. In a minute, uh, the position requires the Class G classification certification, which I don't see here on your resume. Oh, the, the Class G, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it Bella just told me? Promise me that you'll tell the truth, even if it's just for today. I promise. Oh. Uh, I mean, uh, Actually, I got that certification back in uh, November. That was a lie. Well, what was the name of the gentleman that gave you the test? Oh, well, that was good old Mr. Uh, Cardam Milovaski. Fred or Steve? Steve? Thought Steve worked in shipping. Well, yeah, he does. Uh, well, he did. Um, but he had to, uh, he had to quit because he, uh, couldn't handle the seasickness. At the post office? Yes, at the post office. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a long s story. Great. In that case, all we've got to do is uh, give a call over to the county. That's where your records will be. Uh, no, no, you don't. You don't have to do that, really. Uh, uh, I can do it right now. No, really, it's 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 not necessary. Why would you? Uh, and I'm dialing. Oh wow! Look at there you go. You official little Hello, worker Hello, Miss. I'd love to speak with Steve Cardamiliofoski, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding.
Okay, believe it or not, not the worst ending to a job interview I've ever had. But what happened next was like one of those things you really can't explain. That was the moment when my life really started taking a turn for the better. What? Always gets worse before it gets better, right? Right? I'm okay. I'm fine. It's a miracle. Kid, are you all right? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I'm not one of those guys that wastes an opportunity. Ah! Oh, my leg! It's shattered in several places. No, 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 no. no. You evil, evil, bills. evil car. When, car, when are you going to stop hurting people? Go! Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. Here, let me help you up. Oh, I am so sorry. But please, kid, you can't tell anybody about this. By all things bright and holy, you can't tell anybody. Well, I'm coming back from traffic court now, and oh, I've been in three accidents this week. If the judge finds out about this, I'll lose my license. And if I lose my license, I'll lose my job. And if I lose my job, I'll lose any chance of meeting a, a nice girl. And then I won't be happy, and then I won't retire. Then I'll have to work as a janitor in a trailer park for a 500-pound bearded lady named Al. Please, kid, whatever your name is. Anthony, Anthony Ambelli. Anthony Ambelli, you cannot tell anybody about this. Well, I'll do anything, and I mean anything. You just name it, what will it be? No, 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 you don't have to decide right now. I have a card, um, here, take that. Call me when you think of something. I work over at Chardon Printer, ask for Sheen. I, I, I gotta get going, I, I'm going to be so late. Uh, but but uh, call me. We'll talk. G goodbye. Throughout the Mafia Wars in the 70s, organized crime rates were through the roof all over the U.S. But Cleveland, Ohio took the standard to a whole new level. So much that Cleveland was unofficially branded Bomb City, USA. Throughout the year of 1976, over 36 bombs were detonated throughout the city. Over 75% of Cleveland's organized crimes from 1970 to 81 were believed to be the workings of the DeFranco family. While many of families shared in the bloodshed, the DeFranco family was believed to be ruthless in their climb to the top of the organized crime groups. They carried a strict policy of no witnesses, no survivors, which of course came to the work in their favor. When the state attempted to prosecute their presumed leader, Guido DeFranco, aka the Gui, he was charged and convicted of organizing 286 counts of violent crimes in State vs. Guido DeFranco, including tax evasion, soliciting murder, and murder in the first degree. When offered a plea bargain to give up the names of the family members involved in the organized crime group, Guido refused and was executed in 1983. Over 2,000 megavolts of electricity coursed through his body, killing him almost instantaneously. The remaining family members have been traced to neighboring cities such as Twinsburg, Aurora, and Chardon, Ohio. What are these elusive families doing now? That's what everyone is asking. Could they be living among us? Watching? Waiting? Growing? And getting ready to strike? How did you get here? Huh. Right. Silly show. You can have me locked in that club. What happened to Jean? She's safe. 
I saw the plane land. Which way did he go? He went in through a lower window. Come on. And let me know who the eagle is. You know. The odd-looking boy I just slammed with an aluminum bat is my friend, <clears throat> my acquaintance, Jeffrey Isaac Henderson, but everyone around Chardon just calls him Jeffy. Jeffy isn't the brightest knife in the outlet. He's gullible, and uh, honestly, he's the only person who I could say whatever to and not be worried what he was thinking. For obvious reasons. Here, put this on it. Is it bad? No, it's it looks fine. Just are you sure? Yeah. So, so it doesn't look bad at all. Yeah. No. Okay. <gasps> what are you doing sneaking around my house? I was here to surprise you for your birthday. It's not my birthday. For several months. Well, if I had done it then, then you would have been expecting it. <laughs> oh. Yes! Dexter Do Good's 75th anniversary episode starts in five minutes. Dexter Do Good's been around for 75 years? <laughs> well, Anthony, I'm no genius. But. But what? Jeffy? You better not have let any of your weird friends in with you. Oh no, don't worry. It's just Clyde. Hobo Clyde! Shh. He'll hear you. You just told me you didn't bring any weird friends in. I didn't bring any weird friends in. Hey, Jeffy! This cat smells funny! Right. What? He's not my friend. How good a ventriloquist are you? That's a no word. So, how was your day? Not so hot. How'd the job interview go? I didn't get the job. Been there! Hobo Clyde. The bane of my existence. You know, sometimes I think my life couldn't get any worse, but, but then I think about you, Hobo Clyde, and I realize my life could be so much worse. Well, at least I have a better snack selection. I don't snack. Well, a good host thinks about his guests before he thinks of himself. You're not my guest. If I wasn't your guest, I wouldn't be sitting in your living room, would I? Good point. Well played, sir. Well played. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, laser beaming. Don't worry, Stacy. I'll save you. Now there's a job I could do. Why couldn't I have been a superhero? I mean, think about it. I've got all the traits. Kindness, wit, passion. And you're humble. <laughs> you evil menace. But seriously, people would love and praise me and... I could fight the crime wave that's sweeping over the streets of Shark. Sounds dangerous. Yeah, except 
there is no crime wave sweeping over the streets of Chardon. Well, I wouldn't say that. Remember what happened to Mrs. Johansson's cat? <laughs> That's not exactly the crime I'm talking about, Jeffy. I mean real crime, like thugs, murderers, robbers. Oh. Yeah, we don't have any of that here. Yeah, so Jeffy was great and all, but then again, Jeffy was Jeffy. And not really what I would have considered a friend I could be proud of. He was easy to trick into liking me, so it wasn't a real challenge. It was time I faced the facts. Nobody really cared about Anthony and Belly. I felt unimportant, alone, like a nobody. I'm sorry. Why is there blood on... Okay, that's, that's later. That's later. Where was I? Um, right. Don't worry, Stacy. I'll save you. Take that, you evil menace. <laughs> Your city needs a superhero, Anthony Anvelli. Dexter Dugood? What are you doing here? I am appearing in a hallucination fabricated by your subconscious to assist you in deciphering your problematic concerns. What? I'm here to tell you how to be a hero. B but I can't, Dexter Dugood. I don't have any superpowers. And, and the streets of Chardon really don't have any crime. It's, it's impossible, and not to mention, insane. Nothing is impossible. What are you saying, Dexter Dugood? Anthony, people love and worship me, and I'm just a poorly made cartoon character. But what about superpowers? I can't actually have those in, in, in the real world. You don't need to actually fight crime. You just need people to think you are for them to love you. <laughs> But your name is Dexter Do Good. You shouldn't be teaching me how to lie. That's just a brainless name I've been given on television. That doesn't mean I'm actually good. But, but, okay, but even if I did fake being a superhero, how am I supposed to make people actually believe me? Just remember, little Tony, Everyone will believe what they read in the newspaper.
was I even drawing? Hey, Grandma? Yeah, how do I work your sewing machine? Um, how do I tell if it's on? Wait, I think it, maybe. Oh, okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. So I had an idea. But if I was going to do it right, I was going to need help. And I knew exactly who to call. This is good. Come with me, please tonight. Everything will be alright Gertrude, I will give you everything that you need Oh Gertrude, I love you I love you Get Jeffy to do it busy. Ian, my dear child, you're never going to do anything exciting with that attitude. Whose definition of exciting are we talking about? Your own personal view or what the rest of the world considers exciting? Hey! Hey, I can make things exciting. You remember all the good times we had. Ian, until you learn how to act like a man, I'm going to have to send you to boarding school. <laughs> I couldn't forget. Trust me, I tried. Right, 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 right. Listen, I'm working on a little, um, Project. Didn't I just tell you that I'm busy? I don't care about you being busy. You can finish updating your public diary later. It's a blog, Anthony. A blog. Ian, would you do it for me? Jeffy's involved? Hi. Oh, this must be a good idea. That's the spirit. Listen, I need you both to meet me at the corner of Water Street in Maine, in that alley by the old abandoned theater. I just need your help taking a few pictures. It sounds scary to me. Does this life plan that we're helping you out with involve any hard work or thought? Barely any of either. I figured. Somebody sounds unpleasant. Do I have to sing that song? Please don't. Come on, you know what song? Okay, I'm singing it. I got oh. a buddy named oh, Ian. Oh, don't do that. Oh, please Ian's no. Ian's a buddy I have. Hey, guys. I got a buddy How do you tell if spiders are poisonous? He is willing. Stop. Oh, please. Fine, fine, I won't sing. Ah, 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 mm, mm, mm. But it's time to bring joy into your life. No way! <sighs> I hate my life.
You know what's in here? My hopes and dreams. <laughs> Is Jeffy here? No. Why are you smile? Never mind. When he gets here, tell him to put on the mask I told him to bring. Anthony, I'm back from the old abandoned theater. Look, I got the mask. Here. What do you think? Does it make me look tough? Yeah. So, what are we doing today? Wow. Settle down. We're taking pictures of Anthony dressed like a superhero to help him with his insecurity issues. I do not have insecurity issues, Ian. I'm not insecure. Am I? If we can't trust him with his own hygiene, huh? Ready? Ready. Ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you gonna hit me for real? Yes. Won't it hurt? No. He's only gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> I was scared that it was... Hey, wait! Here goes nothing. That felt good. <laughs> How'd it turn out? Oh, I thought you were asking if I wanted to see Jeffy get punched in the face, so I said yes. Uh, take I the picture think I as soon do as this I punch anymore, Jeffy, guys. like this. Oh. You missed it. You have to take oh. the picture sooner. Oh. Why don't you try doing a oh. countdown so I don't have to predict oh. the future to figure out when you're going to punch him? I'm not asking you to predict the future, Ian. <laughs> I just want you to get a nice picture when I punch <laughs> Jeffy like this. There. One, two, three. There. Yeah. How'd it look? It looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? You blinked. What? Well, well duh! I was getting punched! Wait, wait, wait. Did, did Jeffy blink or did I blink? You're wearing a mask. All right, let's do it one more time, but Anthony, maybe punch him a little harder to make it more convincing. All right. Please, Anthony, not not again. Jeffy, Jeffy, it's a picture. They're not gonna see you acting like you're scared, but thank you for the effort. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. No! So, we had some fake photos. Obvious next steps, blackmail, and getting them published. It sounds kind of weird when I say it like that. But that's what we did. Hello, Mr. William. You! Yes, it's I, your friend from the parking lot. Guess what? What? I thought really hard about it, and I know what you can do for me. Let me start out by saying, it'll be easy for a man in your position. You mean here at the paper? Yes. I've got some things I'd like to put in the newspaper, and I need a man of your great skills to write an article about it. Before you go on, you should know that printing a false story is illegal. So is hitting a kid with your car and not reporting it to the police. But, but, but you didn't report it either. Oh, that's true. But, oh, but that could easily be explained by these headaches I've been having recently ever since I was walking in a parking lot and got hit by your car! Okay, 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 okay. I'll do it. What do you mean? I've got these. All I need you to do is take them to your boss and certify their authenticity. 
I can't do it. You can't, can't do, do what? It. I can't lie to my boss. Oh, you're not lying to your boss. You're te- You're t- You're... Okay, you're lying to your boss. I've never lied to my boss before. It's easy. I do it all the time. Well, I did back when I had a job. That's a bad example. Come in. Just relax, do what I say, and everything will go great. Sheen in person, I don't know. Sit down. What do you want? What is that? Um, you see, sir, um, uh, some friends and I were, uh, were taking pictures of cats in, in the alley when, um, when this uh, burglar jumped out of... And I think that your loyal employee, Sheen, actually could probably tell the story a lot better. If you want to just send me, that'd be great. Are these real? Yes. You say this happened just last night? Yeah. Who is this guy? Uh, Does he have a name? I don't think that he, uh, I, I, I don't think his, 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 I don't think, Sparrow. his name is the Sparrow. Sparrow, huh? I like it. They bought it. They so bought it. Then, less than a week later... Guys, 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 guys. What, Jeffy? Guys, you wouldn't believe what's in the paper today. Wow, how did he get us on the front page? Us? Yes, that's you in that picture. What was I doing? You were trying to mug someone in an alley. What have I done? What on earth is the sparrow anyway? I am, that's the, uh, that's the name I thought of. <gasps> You're the Sparrow? Yes, how do you not remember taking those photos the other night? I don't know, I... Sometimes I forget big events. Have I suffered any blunt force trauma recently? No! Oh! No! Not that it comes to my... Is that somebody's phone? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's my phone, I guess. Uh, hello? Yeah, no, yeah, that's, uh, I was, um, yeah, I'm just answering your call. Did he just avoid my question? Do you think he tried to avoid your question? Well, I mean, I... What? Did you just avoid my question? No, no, Jeffy. Meanwhile, at the Chardon printer, Sheen was, uh, getting nervous. Just the man I wanted to see. Close the door. Sit down. Is there something you wanted to see me about, sir? Yes, it's about that Sparrow paper you wrote. It is? Yes. It, it's kind of hard to imagine a hero actually existing, let alone in a small town like Chardon, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, when I first heard about the Sparrow, I said to myself, this is crazy. I mean, I actually said that to myself. This is crazy. So I started investigating. You what? I started investigating. I started talking to a whole bunch of our readers around Chardon. And you know what they said? 
They said it was crazy too. They said they could not believe that a superhero actually existed in Chardon. And after I got done talking to a bunch of our readers, I went and talked to some of the vendors. And after they said they thought it was crazy too, you know what I found out? This story is selling like my mother's hotcakes on the 4th of July weekend. This is big, Gene. This is very big. This is just the sort of thing that could get the Chardon paper on top. How many were sold? As of this morning, at 6.03 a.m. with all the vendors, sold out! Sold out! Does that mean that we finally have a good enough story to, to actually compete? We might become the number one newspaper in the county! The county? The eyes of the world are on us, Sheen. Now that we have the good hand, it's important that we keep the good hand. Now, these pictures of the sparrow, does the sparrow just give them to you? Yes. Yes! Now! Now, the person I have planted in the Lake County Bugle says that they're going to print a story stating that the Sparrow stopped an armed robbery in Burton. Now, it has pictures, so since only you get the pictures, we know they're lying, and we're going to let them burn for it. Then the person that we have planted in the Astabula paper says they're coming out with a story without pictures. They're going to be selectively moving their newsstands right by the border of Chardon in these two areas of transport. But we're going to move our newsstands in select areas. Here, here, and here. Thus forth, stopping the flow of their paper into Chardon and the Geauga County area. Now, if we find out they're lying, we're going to let them burn for it, too. Sheen, honesty is our policy. Hey. That's a good slogan for our newspaper. Honesty is our policy. <laughs> that could be the new slogan for your article, since you're the most honest guy I know. <laughs> now, what we need is another real story about the Sparrow to keep the competition up. Do you think you can do that for me, Sheen? Yeah. So? The world was starting to believe that the sparrow was real. Sheen started needing more photos. He started paying us for them. So I had a job. Things were good. Does he, does he have uh, one of those button things on his utility belt that shoots the grappling hook that, because... That is way cool. Something that I heard was really cool at school was that he was standing in an alley and he was just beating this dude up and just like, he was one minute there and the next minute he was gone. He's done something for this town, he's done something for me. I have met the Sparrow. I don't know what he looks like, but I did meet him and talk to him, but he was very mysterious, but... I think he is showed me that that I should ch change my life for the positive, do help out other people, and he's been around for such a short time, but he's making my life and everyone else's life a lot safer. And he's doing good for the world, not just for his own personal gain. Ever since he's came, there's more crime, but it it, it feels safer now with him because he's done something. Well, there was that um, robbery of that alpaca farm the other day, and he, he stopped that robbery, um, and the alpacas were saved. I know because I saw it. I, well, I didn't see it. I looked at my phone to take a picture, and he was just gone. Um, he's inspired me to uh, get involved maybe a little bit more. Um, I have uh, been thinking about maybe doing some of this myself. I've been inventing some flamethrower things in my hands, so. Uh, I've been working out the name, uh, the Scarlet Streak. It's pretty cool. Shout out to uh, the Sparrow. He's a cool guy. I like him. Uh, thanks, and uh, we should go out to dinner sometime. You know, I'll buy for the first time. If you're watching this, Mr. Sparrow, you got style. Okay, my overall feeling of how the Sparrow's impacted the area is um, there. There, 
there used to be a ton of garbage on the ground and now there really there isn't like any i mean like you'll find a couple wrappers here and there and I, like i'll pick them up sometimes i won't but but it's mostly it's clean so i think that's Originally, I named him the Sparrow because I wanted to name him after a black bird that wasn't taken yet. Then I found out that sparrows are light brown. Sparrows are light brown? No, they're... It's too late anyway, so... Tonight, a Sparrow vigilante has reportedly stopped another armed robbery this week. This constant string of criminal... I don't believe this. I don't. I just don't believe this. Why would a superhero named the Sparrow start fighting crime in Shark of all places? He's not a superhero. He's a vigilante. What's the difference? Come on, Bobby. Have a little faith, will ya? I'm serious about this. We should get to the bottom of it. Find out what's really going on. Why should we? It's nice to have the Sparrow help us keep watch. I mean, I haven't done my neighborhood route in over two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Look, I'm not saying I don't like what the Sparrow is doing, but it's a little suspicious, don't you think? I mean, why haven't one of these muggers or robbers been brought down here to the station? Well, maybe he's giving them a second chance or something. A second chance? How many second chances is it going to give this guy? I mean, all right, I'll show you. Sparrow stops mugger. Sparrow stops robber. Sparrow beats up carjacker, but it's the same guy. I'm telling you, he's wearing the same clothes. He's the same height. He's got the same eyes. It's the same person. Okay, okay. They look a little alike, but that's not enough to start causing trouble. It's just too unexplainable. I mean, the media is not giving us enough facts. Sparrow saves women from muggers. Okay. Sparrow diverges cars from fatal crash? Sure. Oh, but this is a good one. Sparrow saves Chardon kitty kennel? Chardon doesn't even have a kitty kennel. How do you know? You act like you've seen every inch of the city. Uh, we're police officers. Patrolling the city is our job? No. Our job is to keep the city safe. And the Sparrow is helping. You want to catch a bad guy, Bobby? Come read this. This is from 1976. The guy to the left? Guido DeFranco, one of the most feared mob bosses of the time. The boy to the right? His son, Giovanni. Everybody knew that he was heavily involved, but Giovanni was too smart to get caught. This guy is the only possible threat we have to be concerned about. Dad, you wanted to see me? Louis tells me you've been pulling some theft jobs when I told you to lay low. Now I mean it, Bruno. Stop this stuff. Is it because of him? You know what? I've been wanting this family had guts. Nobody pushes the Franco around. Nobody, especially not some some freak running around in black tights. It's 
Bad enough I got the cops breathing down my neck. But the fact that this ballerina's packing heat only makes things worse. Bruno, we got something good here. Oh, do we? Something good? What, were you referring to a lousy pizza joint? We used to be on top of it all. You know, Grandpa, he owned Cleveland. And you know something? He knew how to run it. We're attempting to lay low until the rumors die down. But fine. You go. You go rob that corner drugstore of the last $300 they got. But what are you going to do when the little old lady behind the counter pulls out a gun and shoots you? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You better die. Because if you go to jail, you're going to bring this family down with you. And everything that your grandfather's worked and died for will be nothing more than a few paragraphs on a police blotter tucked away in some file cabinet. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Go back to the kitchen where you belong. Crazy man chasing me. He's dressed like a cop. Don't call again. Yellow. Anthony, I think they know. Who does? The cops. They're at my front door. They want me to open the door. Don't. For all things bright and holy, don't open that door. Why not? Because you and I both know that you would blurt out everything and ruin it all. Anthony, to be honest with you, I don't like this anymore. The, the lying, the sneaking around, the, the praise for my article when I know it's fake. I don't like this anymore. I think I'm going to tell them. Sheen, 
don't you get out from behind that refrigerator. You will regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> but, uh, but, how did you know where I was? It was a good guess, but Sheen, you cannot tell them. You know what I have to do if you spill the beans. Yes, I know. But, but what am I going to do? Stop worrying. We're working on a little project right now that should make everyone on Earth believe that the Sparrow is real. But he's not real. Anything else helpful you'd like to say? No. Uh, no. <laughs> I was finally the hero I always wanted to be. But some of the people in Chardon still weren't convinced. Sheen included. So I decided it was time to up the ante. Time to give him something a little more tangible. The plan was so simple we thought nothing could go wrong. Ian would set up security cameras inside of a computer store he worked at. We hear you loud and clear, Ian. Alright, cool. Can you hear us? Yep. Alright, sweet. <sighs> well, this is gonna be interesting. At exactly 8 p.m., Jeffy would enter the front door, acting like he was robbing the place. I would then run from the back of the store, jump up heroically, and stop Jeffy from robbing the place. Knock him out, and Ian would stop recording. We'd then turn in the tape and act like the Sparrow saved the place from being robbed. It was a foolproof plan. Or so we thought. All right, Fiend. Your robbing days are over. You've done your last job for the last time. And you know what? I'm sick of people like you. What was that? Good guys. Stick them up, boys. They're gonna be some bad robbing tonight. <sighs> Not again, Jeffy. I've already beat you up enough for tonight. Jeffy, if you're right there, how can you be right here? Oh no. Good Anthony! What a hey guys, what's wrong? What are the odds he was coming here tonight? You guys, just oh, the camera. I lost all bad. visual. I can't see you guys at all. I know what to back. do. Uh, My uncle taught me what to I do. I thought it looked great. Yeah, I don't know what's what? wrong. No, not, no, Anthony, no, can you hear me? Grab, grab yeah, I'm trying to help you out of here, but I really don't know what's wrong. Anthony, what is going on? Hello? Okay. Hi! Time, and I'm not stuck in a store at night okay. stopping an actual okay. robber fighting him with a knife, Jeffy. He that had a knife. That was not a my angle. A knife! That's when it hit me. We wanted evidence the sparrow was real, right? Well, we had it. So, we took him down to the police station and dropped him off along with the security camera tapes that Ian had taken. And then, uh, 
We waited. Salvatore DeFranco was the last person I should have made angry. He was tough, he was ruthless, he scared most of the mob, and on the rare occasion that somebody dared to cross him, he was deadly. Sal, this is your father. Have you heard the news? Bruno's at the police station being questioned, and they say his name and names. I knew he would. I kept telling Grandma to stop teaching him how to cook. I knew that'd make him soft. Sal, don't come back to the pizza shop. They're coming for us here. The police just pulled up out front. Make this guy pay, Sal. You hear me? I want you to do whatever you need to do to kill him. You hear me, Sal? Kill the Sparrow. As they say in Italy, some bad stuff was about to go down. You look ready. Well, do you know why I look ready? No, why? Because I am ready. I'm so ready to, to do this thing. To, I'm ready to go. Hey, are you ready? No, I'm not ready. Isn't it? What do you mean you're not ready? The entire town is here, all 72 of them! Okay, well... Just keep them busy for a few more minutes. I'm not gonna keep them busy. Come on, just just stall. D did you bring your guitar? No. Yes, you did. <sighs> Jeffy. Hi everyone. I'm Ian. And uh, that's Jeffy, and we're here, we're going to sing some entertainment for you tonight before this thing happens, and thanks for all, thanks for coming. All right, here we go. Uh there was a boy, and his parents were Allergic to a pineapple, and they accidentally ate one and they died. But one day he looked to the skies and he saw lots of birds and decided to become a hero named. The Sparrow! He's the Sparrow and the Sparrow is awesome He likes to make your dreams blossom We love him, he's a Sparrow And he's a hero He's the Sparrow and the Sparrow is awesome He likes to make all of your dreams blossom We love him
things are not going well out there. It was finally time. Time to reap the glory. Time to visit my fans and hopefully not have to deal with too many doubters. Hi everyone, um, my name is uh, Anthony Ambelli and I am a, a close personal friend with the, with the, I'm a close personal friend with the Sparrow and I'll be uh, answering your questions tonight. Um, to start out, does, uh, does anyone out there have any, any questions? Yes, uh, um, uh, you sir. Um, yes, why isn't the Sparrow here? Yeah. Um, that's, that's a good question. The Sparrow feels that it would be uh, too dangerous to come out in public like this. Um, he, uh, he told me, and these are his exact words, crime doesn't get to take a day off, why should he? That's correct. Yeah, he, he trusts me to tell everyone the truth about him, because we're kind of like, we're kind of like best friends. Aww. Well, not kind of like best friends. Aww. Because we are best friends. Aww. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting off subject. Does anyone else have a question? Uh, yes, uh, user in the back. Yes, yes. How do we know the sparrow is even real? That's a very good question. Let's give this guy a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. How can we know that the sparrow will keep the city safe for our children? Well, I, I'll tell you what's not safe. Going out in them woods after dark. Uh, excuse me? Because those melon heads will snatch you up off the ground like a ripe strawberry. Was, was that a question? I saw one too, you know. Saw so what? A melon head, of course. Where did you see it, sir? I saw it creeping around down by those tall trees near Snyder Road. When did you see it, sir? I do not Thursday believe night, this. 3 a.m. on my way home from the bar. Okay, I believe that. My cat heard one. Priscilla, this is Priscilla, she's usually a very laid back kitty, but the other night she acted like she was insane. What is going on up there? I have absolutely no like idea. Something I didn't. And you believe that Priscilla heard a melon head? At least one. And how many do you believe she did hear? Eight. Yeah, maybe nine the way she was acting. That, that, that's pretty uh, normal for younger non heads to travel in. Saying there's more than one of them out there? I'm saying that there's uh, enough of them out there to, 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 to destroy this entire town. What do you say we do? Well, I say that we form a search party and find these melon heads before they take our children. Yeah. So who's with me? Yeah. We are a people and we are a nation. It went better than I thought it would go. Well, that was a waste of time. At least if I get bored with the sparrow, I know what I can do next. I can picture it now. Family and car saved from Cliff by Melonhead Monster. Anthony! Bella! Please tell me you didn't see any of what happened in there. Anthony, do you really know the sparrow? For real? Yeah, I swear. 
That's what I was afraid of. Not that it matters very much. Apparently the people in this city are more gullible than I thought. Half the town is in the woods right now with shotguns looking for deformed cannibals. <gasps> Sigh. I lost them. Well, speak of the devil. Oh no, it's just Jeffy. It was supposed to be an insult. Hey, what did I do? Uh, besides ruin my hard work with your usual nonsense? Nothing. Oh, no, no. You don't understand. You see, there was this cop. He's like, y'all, I'm going to arrest you, y'all, and you, you can't do anything. Stop. Just stop. For once in your pathetic, annoying little life, would you be serious? This is not about you having a little bit of fun. It never is. What's that supposed to mean? I mean that I'm always doing what, what you want to do, what, what Anthony wants to do, what Anthony wants to be. Well, I'm sick of it. Where are you going? To finally be what I want to be. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. Anthony. He'll be back once he finds something shiny. Anthony. What? Do you even realize what you've gotten yourself into? Gotten myself into? What are you talking about? The guy that the sparrow caught wasn't just a robber. What do you mean? It looks like he was related to some sort of crime group. How close they related? It's close. You mean they're like... The Mafia? Call Who? Oh, the Sparrow. Hello, you've reached the voicemail of Anthony and Belly. Please leave me a message with your name, phone number, and the time you called, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye. Hi, um... Sparrow? It's Anthony. Listen, uh, Bella and I are in a little trouble down here at the old theater. There's some, uh, very big guys that want to talk to you. And I'm pretty sure if they don't, they're... They're getting ready to kill us. I know you're probably not scared, because, uh... Well, you should have seen this coming right from the beginning. Listen, I know it's pretty impossible, but... A lot of bad things are going to happen if you don't show up. 
you could just come here and talk to these guys and save the day. I'd really appreciate it. Give me the phone. You hear that? Is he going to be able to save us? Um, I'd be willing to bet he's probably not coming. Well, how do you know? Because he's already here. What? Where is he? Ta-da. Anthony, don't tell me that you're... Yeah. You, you didn't really fight off all those people the newspapers said you did. No. Kind of. It was, it was Jeffy in a ski mask. Oh. Alright, you've had enough time. The next sound you hear is gonna be one of your friends getting shot. friends up there. You better let them go or else... Right about then, that was when my whole life caught up with me. It had all been my fault. Bella was right. She had been right from the beginning. She was the only one in this whole big mess that was actually trying to do the right thing. To be honest, when I turned to see her face at that moment, I half expected to see her looking at me with a look of sheer disappointment. She had every right to. But when I looked at her, I didn't see a self-righteous look of pride. I saw a young girl, ready, ready to accept consequences for the selfish actions of a friend. I'd been pretending to be a hero for a long time, and I never realized I had no idea what it meant to be a hero, until now. Don't hurt him. I'm the only one here you really want to kill. I'm the Sparrow. That's when I died. My butt. No, I didn't die. I'm narrating right now. I Anyone who even thought I died for a second or a split second? Wow. Wow. I said, drop the weapon.
Thought I got shot. That is the scariest thing I've ever done. I'm proud of you. Ellie, you were right. I mean about everything. I was a liar. But I'm gonna change. I promise. I believe you. For once. Wow, thanks. So, I've had this big emotional breakthrough. You believe me? And, uh, the Mafia ended up behind bars. I'd say, at the end of the day, it all ended pretty well. Hey, guys. I think I'm bleeding. Hey, Jeff. Ah. Jeff, here. Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry. Ah, ah. Sorry. Ah, ah. Jeffy, how did you do all that stuff before? I don't really know. It all started back when I was watching Dexter do good at your house. Hi, um... Sparrow, it's Anthony. Listen, uh, Bella and I are in a little trouble down here at the old theater. There's some, uh, very big guys that want to talk to you. And I'm pretty sure if they don't, they're, they're getting ready to kill us. I know it's pretty impossible, but if you could just come here and talk to these guys and save the day, I'd really appreciate it. And I got shot. Am I gonna die? Relax, you got shot in the arm. Well, thanks for telling me how to react to getting shot. I'm just saying you're not gonna die. Well, even if I did die, I'd be okay with it now. What? Why? Because I finally got to be what I've always wanted to be. You mean this whole time you wanted to be the Sparrow? No. I just wanted to be your friend. Oh! Oh! I'm so sorry! Oh. Uh, here, here, oh. we get a hug! Okay. It's alright, buddy, yeah. it's alright! Okay, okay, it's, yeah. Hey, we should get you to an ambulance. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And that's it. That's how I faked being a superhero so that everyone would love me. I know some of the details might seem a little odd right now, but that's how I remember it, and I've learned a lot. Now, I'm not saying in any way that I shouldn't be punished for what I've done, but rather that I'm ready to accept whatever punishment might befall me. I'm going to attach some contact information to this SD card, and I guess I'll expect to hear from somebody soon.